Hi guys, Chris with City Girl Homestead. Time for dinner. <laughs> I am making tonight Amish hamburger steak bake. So, let's bring you over here and see what we're doing. I've got two pounds of ground beef. <clears throat> Excuse me. A cup and a half of saltine crackers crushed. We need a cup of milk. And we need, <clears throat> excuse me, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. A half a teaspoon of garlic. A half a teaspoon of onion. own onion. I love it. And then a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I was going to leave it out, but I thought, you know what? A quarter teaspoon really isn't that much. So I'll leave it in there. Yes, my hands are clean. And we're going to get in there and mix it all together. Because it didn't call for onions. Maybe that's just what the powdered onion is for. Never cooked this one either, so. Well, you know what? Most of the stuff I cook for you guys I've never made before. That's the truth. Alrighty. So now what you're going to do is you're going to shape this mixture into about a half inch thick hamburger steak. And you're going to dredge it in flour, which I've never done that before, so that's new for me too. And then we're going to put them on the stove and let them brown. But I read on there that doing the flour will make it so it has a little bit crispier crust on it. And it actually helps keep the seasonings inside. Or if you want to put seasonings on the outside. So let's get all these put together. I can't wait to try it actually, so. I bought that tubed um, hamburger because it was on sale. I don't like that stuff for hamburgers, but it was on sale. So what do you do? You use it. <laughs> That's what you do with it. They go all fit in one pan here. But I'm sure they'll shrink up. So if you guys have ever dredged a hamburger, let me know in the comments below. Might have to do two rounds of this because it's not fitting and I don't think it's going to all fit in that one pan. All right, so let me get these cooking and then I'll be back. All right, I'm gonna put the first batch in my nine by 13 pan. I'll just put them in the bottom there. <laughs> Looks like they might have to be doubled up actually. Uh -huh. 
And my sink is overflowing again. I tell you guys. We just paid a plumber what last week to do it. And it's already doing it again. Alright, so I'm gonna fry these last three and then we'll get on to the next step. Alright, so now all the burgers are fried and they're put inside here. And it is funny because they do have a coating on it and it's I've never seen a hamburger like that. So I'm gonna put a little I've got two cans of cream of mushroom soup and a cup and a half of milk. I'm gonna add pepper, but I'm not gonna add salt. Because you know that the soup already has salt in it. And I'm gonna mix this together. Tom got this, the sink unclogged for now. Let's hope it stays that way. Can't afford another plumber call. <laughs> All right, now you're gonna pour this over the, the hamburger steaks. Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? And then we're gonna put aluminum foil over it. My stove is preheated to 350. And I'm going to put this in the oven for 30 minutes. So we had our one and only zucchini. And so I figured why not just fry that up for our veg tonight and use that up. So the only thing I put on that, I don't put flour and stuff on mine. Is I'm just going to use salt and pepper on it. And it's in the grease that the hamburger's fried in, and I added just a little bit more oil to it. So that's what we're going to use for our side dish tonight. Alright, so there's dinner finished. Ha <laughs> ha Very beautiful. So, I'm going to put our plates together, take it to the table, and let's see how it tastes. Alright, so there's dinner. This is Amish Steak Bake. That's definitely pretty good. And those are those potatoes I mashed up yesterday, just rewarmed up. Want to try a piece of your zucchini? Mm -hmm. Our one and only zucchini. I told you we had a zucchini planted, though. I told you we did, and you said, no, no, no. Couldn't find it. I know. I Give still don't know which one it was. Give her a try. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. So what do you think about the Amish steak bake? It's really good. Alrighty. Tom approved. You guys have a blessed night, be a blessing, and bye, Tom. Bye, Tom.